Should You Play New World? With the release of Amazon Studios' new title, lots of MMO players are moving over to try this game out for themselves. I know I have been asking myself this question quite a bit, and I know a lot of my friends have been asking me the same. So that begs the question, should you play it? Well in this video we'll be experiencing New World as a new player and see if the game holds up towards all of the hype and marketing around it. And maybe, just maybe, we may find something truly amazing. Before we continue I would like to say thank you to all of my Patreons who make all of this possible. Thank you ever so much. Now on to the video. How will we be judging if it is worth playing? We will be looking at 8 factors to gauge the game as a whole. These are storyline, initial quest line, class selection, character creation, community engagement, graphical quality, music and overall immersion. These are the factors that we'll be looking at with New World, so without further ado, let us begin. Starting off with character creation, I noticed a lack of customization when it comes towards my character. These were body type, which there was only two options, and a handful of hairstyles for my character. Though the graphics looked good for the limited options I did have, I felt that I lacked the freedom to customize my character to the way I wanted. I generally love being able to make my character into something unique and aligns into something I want and overall I don't feel that New World delivered on that. Though a handful of players may get the look they are wanting, others may not be so fortunate in this regard. So with that said, I award character creation with a 4 out of 10. Moving on to class selection, now this is a funny one, as New World does not have a class selection. They use an all around approach when it comes to classing, where you build your character to the playstyle you are looking for. This is something different that I actually did enjoy, as it was something different to the norm, which is a fresh approach to the generic classing system that we're all so accustomed to. So for class selection, you will be awarded a 7 out of 10. As for storyline, I found that the introduction cinematic was pretty good going into the game, but after creating my character, getting thrown into the sea, and being washed up amongst the shore, I found that there was not much of a storyline to go off of. You had your captain telling you you stole his chest and then he dissolves into the ground. Um, yeah leaving you to go through the tutorial. At the end of the tutorial, I saw my captain again being all corrupt, and I thought that this was a nice touch to finish off the tutorial with him being kind of like a mini boss. Though this was short lived, however, as once you got him to half health, he overpowered you, and then you were killed and teleported to another zone. I just got wrecked. Why am I here? What? The story. Fight a few dudes and then fight your boss. Oh wait, you can't defeat a little mini boss fight. You have to run over here and then you get and then he will teleport you. Why? Thereafter I experienced very little regards to the overall story and it really did not help me get sucked into the game as much as I would have hoped for. So as for storyline goes, you will be granted a 3 out of 10. Moving on to initial questline, I thought it was actually pretty good, with learning how to gather, fight and collect. This experience was quite new player friendly where I learned how to play the game thanks in part to the quests teaching me as I went on. As I progressed through the game I found that I could be part of my own faction, which is a system I rather enjoyed. With their own quests and missions, this gave a sense of purpose, aiding my character's development, which is definitely a plus to be honest. However, a lot of the starting quests were centered around all of the gathering professions, which felt as if I was being rushed to learn and know everything instead of doing the professions at my own pace. Without much of a storyline backing the initial quest line, which is something I am looking for in an MMORPG, it felt that I was doing quests for the sake of doing quests, and there was not much backing my actions besides my faction quests. So overall, the initial quest line, I will give you a 5 out of 10. As for community engagement, however, you'll find that the community is establishing themselves, which is a part of the game that takes a lot of time. But for the most part, with interactions with other players, I found that players I did talk to were rather nice and helpful as a whole, which is definitely a plus. This is something that will take a long time to develop, and as such, I will give you a 6 out of 10. 
For the most part, New World's graphics are very impressive. I love how the world looks as it all blends together rather well. And you can really see that they took their time designing this part of the game. My favourite part is definitely how the towns look. As you can see, the level of depth they have gone to to actually make the game quite beautiful in this experience. This will be given definitely an 8 out of 10. Moving on to the music of the game, I found this overall to be an okay experience. The music fit the scenes but felt like they had just bought a generic sound pack from the Unreal Marketplace and just placed it into the game. This really did not suck me into the game as I would have hoped, though the aggro sound effect when I had started an engagement was a nice touch. I did like that aspect, but that is more game design and not overall music. So for New World's music, you are given a definitely a 5 out of 10. As for overall immersion, I did not find myself getting sucked into the world that I was hoping for. It was a beautiful world, don't get me wrong, but players need to be engaged into the game, and that is with multiple factors that I don't feel New World has delivered on, the game mechanics being one of them. The combat system was somewhat simple, but bruh, why so many buttons? I mean, there are so many buttons for so many things, and this is overwhelming, especially for a new player. Not to mention the janky asset interactions between certain obstacles and creatures, causing me to not get immersed into the game as a whole. So for overall immersion, you will be given a 4 out of 10. So in conclusion and to sum it all up, New World has scored a 42 out of 80. And should you play New World? No. I think it has a lot of areas where it needs to be improved before it can be considered a good player experience. And in essence, I don't think the game was ready for its release. But other than that, let me know in the comment section down below of your impressions of the game. Was it good? Was it bad? Let me know. Other than that, guys, have a lovely rest of the day and I shall see you in the next video, which will be soon. Mm -hmm.